Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back playing Absolute Thermal. So, we probably should talk about the mobs a little bit. Uh, you know, a little bit of change has been made to the mobs. And let's see, I'm gonna need just a couple of pieces of iron. Let's grab ourselves some shears. Oh, and you know what? Let's grab a piece of wheat, too. Let's get a piece of wheat. Uh, so, you know, just for giggles, I made the mobs a little bit more aggressive. If you notice, this cow really wants this wheat. Well, if I scroll off it, uh, the cow still really wants that wheat. And if I get too close to the cow, oh, wheat's gone. <laughs> uh, the mobs now steal from you. Uh, sorry. <laughs> so, sheep, how do you feel about some of these shears? Do you like shears? Oh. What are you going to do? Oh, no, you stole my shears. <laughs> uh, you guys got about a minute. No, about a second to shear them and get away. Now, I will show you the way around it, but that's what's going to happen when you try to shear sheep is they're going to steal the shears. You know, I need to take care of this eggs and feather thing, too. Uh, so let's do a couple of things. So I want this wrench right here, the flux infused wrench. And I should have most of this. Let's grab some diamonds, right? And, you know, I keep forgetting to use them, these uh, clathrate things. So you are, let's just look at the uses here. So you are right here somewhere. Nope, right there. Each one of you is a quarter of a bucket, so I think I need four of these to melt down. Oh, 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 I don't need any of them to melt down. All right, battle wrench, do your stuff. And you accept it. All right. There we go. We'll make two of those guys. All right. Let's, uh, let's make our new and improved shears, which is a wrench. All right. Right here. Let's see. Get, uh, do I have that? Yes, I do. I've got this. Very cool. And that. And, you know, while I'm thinking of it, let's make the vacuumulator, right? Vacuumulator collects items in an area. Uh, should be pretty easy. I think we've got some of this stuff. You know, what are those things? Are they servos? Yeah, uh, make me a bunch of them. I'm tired of not having servos. All right, so vacuum. Vacuumulator. You right here. Uh, so got those, so we just need some iron gears. All right, here's a bunch. And probably this hopper. Yep, right there. All right, so let's make this dude. And, you know, we'll make ourselves another... Uh, do I want a cache? Do I want a cash? I'm going to pick up eggs and, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. We're going to pick up eggs and feathers. So we'll make two of them. And you don't require power. And I'm not exactly sure how to see the range on it. But let's, uh, yeah, let's just kind of slap it right there. Oh, very cool with the animation. And yeah, no, you don't have a range button. Yes, this block sucks. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Use while sneaking with an empty hand to configure filtering. Really? Hold on a second. Let's, uh, let's, let's check that out. I did not know. Use while sneaking to... Hmm. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, so you can blacklist. Okay, you can blacklist, whitelist, or dictionary. All right, very cool. All right, but that is not where I want you to go. I want you to go right here. And then we'll take a cache, right? Let's uh, let's chuck our feather in there. And did anybody lay an egg? No, of course not. Well, just for giggles, you can go on either side. And we'll just say, yeah, we'll do this. Out and out. And if it puts feathers in both, so be it. Uh, but that should generally work. All right, very cool. I like that. So now I can pick... Oh, 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 we forgot to shear. We forgot to shear just like that <laughs> so i thought you'd find that a little fun right is we got a shear sheep with a wrench very nice all right so my official shears you can go in the bag now the thing i want to work on today is making cryothium dust it's the thing that's holding me back from a lot of upgrades and so snowballs are pretty easy blizz powder i can fluid transpose this oh and you know what We've got an extra fluid transposer right there. I don't need that one. And, you know, let's uh, let's just fill the... Yeah, right there. Let's just fill the hole. Right? Boop. Done. All right. So I'm going to need a couple of glacial precipitators. And so these aren't that bad, actually. Right? So 
a couple. I'm going to get two. I'm going to get two. Do I have the coils? Oh, I got it all. Nice. So we'll get two. And, you know, there's an augment that's probably going to help us here. Uh, that's compression dynamo. Magmatic dynamo. Isn't there one that doesn't uh, suck up the water anymore? Or maybe it's just that. What's this one right here? Adds a fluid tank to the fabricator. I've got to look through. I could swear that there's one, but it might just be this for the power generation, right? Let's just take a peek here. Pyronutrients. No. Uh, pyroconductive. Oh, that'd be good for making lava, right? I don't know. I'll peek through here in a minute because I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure that there's got to be something, right? Oh, right there. Okay, it was the igneous extruder. Doesn't need water. So this dude, these guys, we're going to have to supply water to. All right, so let's, uh, what's the name of that block there? That is the something or other. Oh, what is it that gets water? All right, so the aqueous accumulator. Aqueous. I knew it was something. Aqueous accumulator. Yeah, let's get this dude. Ah, it's pretty close. I just need a bucket. All right, so we'll grab one of these guys, right? I'll make water. We'll feed it into this one. Uh, let's see, and I can fluid transpose one of the outputs, right? And so I'm just going to need, I'm going to need a tank, because uh, I've got to have some XP. And, you know, I've got a bunch of kits, let's just grab all the kits. Uh, we're going to need some ducks, right? So some of those. Oh, and I want to play with something, a, uh, a sequential fabricator, right? What would it take to get this? Not a lot. So let's grab some of this stuff right here, and we'll play with all of this stuff, because I just want to make some. Now, yeah, I've got power right over here. I guess I could set it up kind of right here-ish. So let's, uh, yeah, let's pop these out, right? And it's a little easier now that i got a basement, right? Because I can do that, and we can put our aqueous accumulator, and I need my water bottle right there, all right? And are you on fill? You are. And now, yeah, you fooled me last time. You don't fool me now. All right, we got that. So I'm going to need some fluid ducts, right? Let's grab some of the fluid ducts. And, you know, let's just have fun with this. So let's see, right there, you're going to output water. And I don't know. Uh, let's see. I'm going to need to make snowballs. So you and you. Nope, not you. Not you. Come back here. You, right? I want you both to make snowballs. And you're going to need power. You're going to make snowballs. All right. So we'll just kind of do this. And we can come back and, you know, take care of some of this stuff. So let's see. Uh, this is going to get kind of ugly. This is one of those things I'm going to have to lay back out afterwards. Because one of you guys, one of you guys, I want you to fluid transpose. So right there. Right, and we'll give you a tank to pull from with knowledge. And you're going to make stuff, and you're going to make stuff. Right, and let's take you out to the sequential fabricator. And so really all I've got to do is, uh, you know, I could, I could do this. Hold on, let's, uh, let's take this guy, and we'll put him up here, and we'll just do that. How about that, right? And so this should kind of work, and then we just got to pull power over to it. And I'm probably going to move everybody to clean up power, but let's just kind of, let's kind of get it built, right? Make sure it works first, make it pretty later. And we are going to make things a little bit nicer. I'm going to build a house around this stuff. So right there for the moment. All right. So let's see. You are going to accept water, which you're doing. And that was kind of weird. It was accepting water without being turned on. But you're making snowballs, and you're going to output your snowballs up here. You are going to accept snowballs, and you will accept the fluid. I guess that's blue, right? Right there. So you'll accept fluid, and you'll fluid transpose them. And then you're going to output that to the right. You are making snowballs, and for some reason... Oh, you're not getting water, but now you are. Okay. And you're going to get the water, you're going to output the snowballs up, right? So we're getting all of this. Oh, uh, and can I set the recipe, cryotheum, 
Can I set the recipe like this? Yes. All right, that's very cool. And so you're going to set way too many. So the only things I need to do is I need to grab a little pile of redstone, right? And let's see, I'm going to need my tome right there. And I'll throw this in here. Oh, man, you're going to make way too many snowballs. You are going like crazy. All right, turn you off. And let's see, so you are just going to need... Let's do that, right? And let's fill that tank and turn this to auto input, right? Shouldn't you pull? Shouldn't you pull that fluid? Can you not do that? Is that not a thing, right? Because would you have to do this? I didn't think you'd have to do that because that's the wrong mode, right? So let's come back over here. Okay, you don't want to, you don't want to pull in fluid. Hmm. How about, how about we do this? Let's go ahead and let's put this tank on top, and, right, then we'll turn that off, we'll turn this on, and, ah, uh, you know, it's probably the setting of this tank, right? Just like that. Yeah, that'll work. So now, oh man, look at it, the speed of that. All right, you, and you, right, and without any other speed augments, you are still too slow. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's grab... Uh, let's grab, I've got a bunch of these auxiliary reception coils, right? So right there, that should, uh, empty hand should make you a little faster, right? And you're making blizz powder and you need to, you need to have that changed and that, right? And then you're going to come over here and you should be, uh, yep, you should be accepting and accepting like that. So there we go. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's output to something. Uh, I guess the only thing I'm going to make right here is this stuff. So uh, grab a cache. Why not? Right. And so I should be able to make a stack because I put a stack of redstone in there. And I probably could cache in some more. Uh, but let's see. And then right there. And there we go. So now we got cryothium. And how are we doing here? Still got nine buckets. This is only a little bit per, and you're already upgraded twice, right? Oh no, you're only upgraded once. Now you're twice, and you are using, ooh, 120 RF a tick. You use 20. You use 20. Yeah, so I think I can make snowballs for a little bit, uh, and then stop, right? Now you can also make other things, right? You can make ice and whatnot. But there we go. So now I've got some of this cryothium right? Yeah, I like that. All right. So since I've got that, I wonder if I can do one more thing, right? Let's take a look at the flux bore. The flux bore, I'm going to need, <clears throat> excuse me, I also need enderium. And to get enderium, I'm going to need ender pearls. Uh, you know, do I have the pearls for it? Do I have the pearls? I only have eight pearls and uh, I got to do uses on pearls. Right, they're 250 millibuckets a piece. Uh, magma crucible, right, 250. And how much does it take? Right, how much does it take? I guess it would take uh, eight for a bucket. Right, so endurium, endurium, right here. So one bucket gets me four. Okay, one bucket gets me four. And let's just see, resonant, the resonant flux bore, and I only need. Ah, uh, we got just enough. We have just enough. All right, all right, let's do this. Because I really want to get this uh, flux bore up and going. So you, all right, so you can empty, right, and turn you yellow. And we'll put you back in this tank. I like that option. That works out really well. All right, and for right now, I'll turn you off. You go ahead and melt down my last eight pearls. Yeah, that'll work. And then we need to grind down a couple of things, right? So for enderium, right here, I'm going to need, uh, we're going to make two batches, so I'm going to need two platinum and six lead. All right, platinum, I should have a couple of pieces. And lead, right, we'll get, uh, we'll get six of those. Very cool. And then over here, eh, that's pretty speedy. And get those guys. Oh, and I'm going to want another reservoir right? Let's get another reservoir. 
I just need a bucket. This will help me with crafting. So right there, got a reservoir. Now we're also going to have to make lumium, but that shouldn't be a really big deal. Uh, no, you were right. Right, right there. And why you need to be that. Right, and can you fluid transpose right into there? I probably could have just clicked the machine. I probably could have done that. Oh, I need my lead. I need my lead. So let's do you guys, you guys, and you. And there we go. Oh. How did... What? Where did my... uh? Where'd my stuff go? Did I not get two buckets out of that? Did I not get two buckets? Uh, something weird happened. All right, well, give me a second. I gotta go trade with the villagers here and see if I can get enough stuff. All right, so a minute of horse trading with the uh, villagers, and we're good to go. Got four more pearls. Let's, uh, yeah, while I'm thinking about it, let's just chuck all this extra stuff back in the system. All right, so you dudes are gonna melt down, right? You're definitely 500, huh? 750. Wait, something's off on the math here. Something's off. Where did that last interpearl go? I feel like I'm having weirdness. All right, well, where did my reservoir go? So I can just do that. That gets me a bucket. I'll put you down here. I don't know. I'll go back and see what happened. Because my reservoir has disappeared. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now I gotta look at that. Okay, well, whatever. I've made mistakes somewhere. Looks like version 2 is coming out. Alright, so let's grab some sand right here. There we go. Got my resonant... No, my enderium blend. Oh, yeah, I was making invar. We'll smelt those dudes up real fast. Alright, right there. I guess I can throw those back too. Okay, got this. Very cool. So... Let's do Flux Bore here. Flux Bore, last tier. Uh, so I need the gear. That's easy to do. I need Lumium, which is going to be Lumium Blend. So that's an Energized Glowstone. So one silver, three tin. And you are, yeah, blocks of Glowstone, right? So I should be able to do two blocks of Glowstone, right? So let's see, right there, two blocks of Glowstone. Uh, oh, you're going to take a little while. All right, so was it, uh, it was tin and silver, right? It was tin and silver. Let's see. So I'm going to need lumium, lumium, tin and silver. Yeah, three tin and a silver. All right, so let's see. Uh, grab six of you and two of you, and we'll grind you two down. All right, right there. Get those guys, and we'll use buckets this time around. Buckets don't fail me now, right? I've got Energized Glowstone right there, and you're almost done. Fill me up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so we'll get some of this stuff. Uh, those and these and Bucket gets me. Oh, I guess I didn't need to make this many, but we got it, so whatever. Right, right there and there. Make me some Lumium. And let's see, I gotta turn one of you into plates. Flux bore. Flux bore, so no, I gotta turn one of you into a gear. So we got it all now. We got it all. All right, uh, yeah, we'll do it right here. All right, so I need one piece of iron. One piece. I should make the iron die so we don't have to keep spending that, or the uh, gear die. Right, so right there, and I like that it holds the enchant across. Very cool. All right, so now we've got ourselves a better flux bore, and, you know, I've got this process over here. We can make ourselves uh, some cryothium. I've already got 92. Nice. And I just need, uh, I just got to give it a little bit more of this stuff right there. Go ahead and keep making me more. Very cool. So let's go take one look at the flux bore in action. We'll uh, whoosh our way over somewhere. So let's see, right click to open, we'll go to the mining dimension, right, and let's go. All right, in the mining dimension, let's go down here, Oop, take hover off, and let's set the mode on this dude. So you are either 3x3x3 three by three by three or 5x5, five five. Uh, yeah, right there. So 25 at a time, 
like that, or I can do three by three by three and get 27. Hmm, I'm not sure. This one, this way, uh, exposes... Okay, so it's the second block. It's the second block down. So that way exposes more edges, right? So I'll have to take a look, see which one I want. But I think I'm going to call it right there for today. That was a fun day. We got a lot of new stuff. So I'm 47 Mark IV, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hey, you know, drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and then I will see you in the next episode.